ND filter, Osmo pocket. They fit together like hand and glove, like soup and sandwich, like, oh well, you get it. Hi, I'm Arnie and this is Arnie Jacobson TV where we talk travel, camera gear, and tech. If you're into any of those three things, why don't you consider subscribing? Just click that big bell, just click that big red subscribe button down below. And don't forget, click the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever we put up new content. Oh, and make sure you check out the show notes and links in the YouTube description below for even more details. So having a set of ND filters just might be the best investment you can make for this little powerhouse, the DJI Osmo Pocket. Today we're going to examine this ND filter kit from Freewell Gear. There are other options that you can uh, make a decision over when you decide to pick these things up. Now the pack that I got is the 4K Bright Day Filter 4 pack. As you can see, I haven't even opened these things up yet, so let's see how tough this is. Oh, good. Comes in a nice hard shell case. Now, I've been told there's a little bit of a trick to opening, opening these things up. So let's see if I can do this. I heard that you're supposed to press it in the middle and pry it apart. <laughs> there we go. Easier said than done. Oh, and you, and you open them up, you got this nice microfiber cloth, cleaning cloth, and four filters. Now, there are obviously spaces for four more. The ones that I got are the Bright Day, and they are not only ND filters, they also have a polarizing ring on them as well. Let's just take one of these things out of here. Wow, these are so tiny. They are hard to hold on to. And it's a good thing that you get the cleaning cloth because I can see getting fingerprints on this real easily. Now, I hope you've got good eyes or very powerful glasses because the writing on here is really, really small. I'm not sure which one I have. I believe this is the 16. God, that's going to be tough. Now, the set that I have is, is the ND8 with a polarizer, ND16, ND32, and ND64. All of them are polarized. So the purpose of the ND filter is to be able to slow your shutter speed down to accomplish that blur, that, that cinematic blur that everybody talks about. Um, it does make a difference. If you don't, don't slow it down, your footage tends to look a little bit choppy in certain, look, in certain conditions. And as I said, each of them, you can tell by the red ring, by the way, each of these is polarized and that, that's there to help you, um, you know, lessen the amount of glare off of, of water, off of glass, off of, well, just anything that's shiny, actually. So it's a, that's kind of why I went with these. These are held on by tiny magnets on the back and they just pop right on there. No problem at all. Take up no additional space. They're so small, in fact, that you can put the Osmo in its case with the filter right on it. No problem. So that's kind of nice. Now you probably will not be able to see this because this is so small. But on each of these polarized rings, there is a white mark and there's a corresponding white mark on the base of it so that you can line them up and you have some way of knowing where you stand, I guess you would say. What, I don't know what better word to use. So as I said, I have the uh, Bright Day filter pack. The first one is the ND8 and that gives you about three f-stops of light reduction best use on, you know, kind of partly cloudy days. Then the second one is the ND16, and that gives you four f-stops of light reduction, slightly brighter days. Then you've got the ND32, 
Now we're talking a really bright day and the ND64 where it's one of those days where it's, you know, the sun is just baking you. And it's also actually would be great, you know, if you're using, um, if you're shooting waterfalls or that kind of thing or flowing streams over the rocks and you really want that soft um, look from the water flowing, you don't, you know, you want to be able to see the actual flow. The ND64 would be awesome for that. Now I'm going to apologize. I have no real world footage to show you. It has been so terribly bleak here. It's just been, it's been tough to get outside and, and to, to shoot. Hopefully that'll change and I'll be able to put something up to actually demonstrate how this works in the coming days, weeks, hopefully not months. I'm looking forward to having the opportunity to use these to their fullest extent. So the purpose of this was simply to introduce the, these filters from Freewell. I know that if you're serious about, you know, shooting some good video, you're going to want to get some and look out for the, um, follow-up videos that I hope to have up very soon. So I'm going to leave you with a question. Do you have an Osmo Pocket yet? Are you planning on getting one? How about accessories? How about the ND filters? Leave your comments down below. We really do appreciate it and we're really interested to know what you think. Hey, if you like this kind of content, give us a thumbs up. Share with, a fr with friends. And don't forget, subscribe. Thanks for stopping by. We do appreciate it. We'll see you next time.